We begin with a shooting in Brighton, leaving one man dead. Now, police believe it was the victim's son who pulled the trigger. Thanks so much for joining us for 7 Action News at 5 on this Monday. I'm Alan Campbell. And I'm Glenda Lewis. It happened around 1030 this morning on Wood Lake Drive in Brighton. The victim's son now behind bars. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is live on the scene with the latest on this investigation. Brett, fill us in. Well, Glenda, it's still a very active scene here. You can see the road is still closed. Brighton police are on scene. The Michigan State Forensics Lab is on scene. And also the county medical examiner is on scene trying to figure out what happened and trying to answer why. Everybody's like, uh, they still can't believe it. You know, it happened. Neighbors in Brighton concerned and surprised as police shut down their street and marked off this home in crime tape after they say an 18-year-old son shot and killed his father. Nice kid. Very nice kid. Police got called to the home around 1030 a.m. where they found a middle-aged man dead. Family members who were home at the time pointed them to the suspect. All indications is it is the son. The son had already left the scene in his car and police called him on the phone, convincing him to pull over roughly three miles away from the house. No police chase, no pursuit. So everything was uh, everything was done cordially. Uh, he, he told us where he was going to be and we were able to get him to pull over and stop and take him into custody no, without any issues. Police say they recovered a weapon but haven't said who the weapon belonged to. They're still combing over evidence, trying to learn more. Well, we still don't have the uh, information as to why this happened. Uh, we should know more hopefully by tomorrow. Everybody was very nice, nice people, you know. They outside the yard all the time, waving and saying hi. And Neighbors were just as confused. And in a city not used to this type of violence, they hope the answers come soon. Right, it's a wonderful town. Uh, the, the people around here will definitely uh, uh, rally around this family, I'm sure, uh, just as we are. And uh, we'll get through it. Now, no names have been released yet. Police say they will release the name of the suspect once he's arraigned. Reporting live in Brighton, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, Brett, thank you so much. All right.